Hello, Mark. How are you? What are you making today? Oh, I've got a fantastic recipe for you guys today. It's summer. It speaks summer. It's a salad. We've got squid in there and lots of green things as well. So there's lots of texture and lots of flavour throughout this salad. We've got this beautiful watercress here, some fresh peas, or these are frozen, uh, and a couple of different herbs in there. So it's going to have texture, flavour, fresh, easy. It's going to be absolutely fantastic and perfect for summer. But it's a lot calmer today, Mark, you know? It is. We've got a fantastic recipe for you today. As I said before, taste of summer. It's all brought together in the salad. Lots of textures, flavours and the star ingredient, squid. Nice. So have you ever prepped this before? No, I've never prepped squid. I do like eating it, though. Yeah, so it's really good. So a few key factors. Yep. Um, don't overcook it, otherwise it goes really chewy. Rubbery. Really nice, yeah, rubbery. <laughs> yeah. That's it, we've all had that before. So a really nice hot pan, flash fry it, take it out, serve it straight away. Okay, So nice. you're going to be really fast. I'm going to show you how to prep that in just a moment. Okay, good work. Right, and lots of greens here today. This is good, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Lots of greens. Um, in the season, obviously, use fresh peas if you can. Yep. So they're really good. And then blanch them uh, a little bit longer. These are just frozen ones, so convenience. Um, lots of herbs you can grow in the garden, watercress as well, courgettes, you can grow all this in the garden, nice. put it in a salad, really good. Mum used to send me down to the creeks in Waikuikui in Southland to get watercress. Ah, puha. Yeah, yeah, it was oh. so fantastic. And then Foraging. Granddad would make me eel as well. <laughs> I never ate the eels, but I'd always eat the watercress. <laughs> Foraging, that's right. Yeah, From the land! Right, so we've got the peas, so we're just going to blanch them. Um, Boil in salted water, yeah. so we're just going to... Crank gonna it crank, up a bit. Yeah, crank that up. So once it's got a really good boil, pop them in. Um, if they're fresh peas, about 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Frozen peas, defrosted, probably about 10 to 15 seconds. Do them a little bit faster. You don't want to. You still want a nice bit of texture in there. Okay. And just a little question. I was thinking, do you, if they're frozen, let them rest for a while, the peas, or do you actually, let them you know, rest. just get? What's that? <laughs> let them rest. Well, no, you have to like thaw them out <laughs> slightly. It's not a piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, no, good, good, good question though. Um, yeah, either or. I mean, if you're going to use um, straight out of the freezer, you can um, blanch them. Don't put too many in the pan at once, otherwise you'll lose the temperature and okay. end up cooking right. them a bit longer. Um, <laughs> but you might have to cook them for maybe another 10 seconds or so okay. because they are frozen. I'm not asking you any more questions. <laughs> right, so you need this water to boil a bit. We yeah, put yeah, a bit so of salt in it. I'll so do this, you do that. Yeah, okay. All right, so I've just got the courgettes there, so I'm just going to slice them nice and thin. How many is a little at a time? Only you can put them all in, as oh, long okay. as you've got a boil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be boiling. Yeah, it's boiling. <laughs> the great thing about up. frozen peas, they come in a kilo packet. Um, <laughs> good, so we've got some more out the back. I thought it was boiling, but now the temperature's dropped slightly, so it's all right. We'll just leave no, them. no, that's brilliant. Yeah, no, they're good, they're good. Look, see, no, look, they're no, bouncing, they're dancing. My peas are dancing, it's boiling. It's done a great job. Go. And then we'll get it. Go. Perfect. Nice. So the important thing is to blanch in and refresh in is hot pan, get them in, get them out, and chill them right down as soon as you can. So pop them in some ice water straight okay. away, and that stops the cooking and keeps that ni nice and fresh, keeps the crunch and bright green. OK, cool. If the peas are not bright green, then... <laughs> You've not done it right. No, no, they're good, they're good. Don't, just don't you worry about the peas, no, no, Mark. No, no, I'm, I'm not. What are you doing here? <laughs> shallots or onions? Right, so we've got some shallots here, so just going to do a nice little dice. That's going to go through the salad, give us a nice crunch and, um, you know, like a nice sort of cut through for uh, all the richness in here and all the vegetables. So... You are so good at this. You could do that. No, I don't know. Do you want to, do you want to go? <laughs> I'll end up with the big chunks. <laughs> no, I don't want to go. I've, right, I think so I've got, got that. up your peas. I'm not going to muck up your shallots. So the key to like a fast dish is, um, is you know, getting all your prep ready first. Yep. And then it's all ready to go, and then you're cooking it, and then you're eating it straight away. Right, nice. for the squid, so I'm just going to top and tail a little bit. Just going to cut it in half. Yep. So you can use fresh ones as okay. well. Just going to scrape any sort of membrane out there. Yep. I'm going to cut it into some little chunks, like so. So this is so, really important part. Yep. The prepping of the squid is imperative. Well, yeah, that's it. And then just to make it extra tender, just on the inside, oh, yeah. I'm just going to lightly score it. So you want to go through sort of like two thirds of the way. Yep. So really fine. Can do a little crisscross as well. Okay. It's going to help cook the squid really fast, and that does sort of tenderise it as well. Nice work. You can also put it in milk for a couple of hours. That okay. just does help tenderising it. Nice. But if you cook it right in the first place, it should not be tender. <laughs> okay, so we've done the peas. We've prepared the squid. What next? An excellent job on the peas Thank as well. You. So you can see them bright green. That's what you're after. Squid's all prepped in the bowl. Yep. Going to give it a little uh, marinade. So a little bit of lemon juice yep. going over there now. Good. Some olive oil. Olive oil. Yeah. And lots of black pepper. Lots of black pepper. Okay, right. good. And then, so that's going to help season it 
and give us a bit of oil for when we fry it. And okay, I've got cool. a pan on here which has been on for a while. Yeah, it's heating up, I can see it. Can yeah. we, how long do you have to season that for? Do you leave it just oh, it's, give it, it a toss around? It, it's just a quick marinade, you okay, know? Okay, cool. Maybe a minute or two. Yep. I mean, because you've got lemon juice in, the longer you leave it, it's going to start cooking the squid as well. Right. So we don't really want that. Okay, so by the time your pan gets yeah, nice and just hot, a bit of your flavor. squid will be ready to go. Exactly. Okay, cool. Let's go. Right, so I'm going to pop it in. Nice hot pan. Don't want to overcrowd it. You can see, it, see it's all curling I up. love this. Good work. How come these ones haven't curled yet? Because I've put that on the other side. Ah, OK, I see. So you can see, if you put it on the, the, in, oh, the outside part and you've scored it on the inside, it's yep. curling like that. And if you put it on the other side, you don't get the curl. So it's entirely up to you what you want. It's nice to have all these like little tubes. But if you do it like this side, you get some nice bar marks on there first. Ah, nice. And then you can turn it around and then that'll curl up as well. Looking like the pros. So this is great as well on the barbecue, nice hot barbecue, yeah. perfect, really fast. You don't want to cook it for long. A little bit of seasoning in there. Yep. And I don't want to overcrowd the pan as well. Okay. You know, you can hear that sizzle slight, slightly going down as well because we've put something cold in there, but then it's going to come back up. If we fill the pan, it's going to go really sort of soft and it's going to stew. You know, okay. that's been about that. a minute. Okay, cool. You know, it's give it, so good. Yeah, give it a little squeeze there. Yep. So if you feel that, Oh, yeah. Starting to firm up a little bit. That's it all it needs. Just like that? Yeah. So take that out, put it to the side. Yeah, that's it. Well, this is going to be a good salad. And that's okay, how cool. quick it is. Get the pan hot again, yeah. you know, and cook the rest of the squid. Better okay, do it cool. in two lots or three lots rather than chuck it all in to save time. Right. You know, you'll just Don't lose. overcrowd the pan. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. You chuck it on, I'll watch it. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to pop a little bit more olive oil in here on this side. And then I'm just going to pop the courgettes through the pan as well. Okay, good. Same deal, just in there. You just want to warm them up and loosen them, you know? You still want some texture from there. It's not going to take long to cook. Nice work. Okay, good. And not so many dishes I'm liking with this dish as well. <laughs> yeah. Just use some for the peas. We've got the one pan doing everything here. Our squid's curling up. Cafe.co.nz if you want the recipe. All right, and then we're going to start building the salad. So I've got a little bit of parsley in here, so I'm just going to pick some leaves. So this is great as well, the parsley. Every time you bite on the parsley leaf, it sort of refreshes your mouth. So a bit of parsley. Now you're yeah. getting to... A bit more parsley. More, bit more parsley. Yeah. And then we've got some watercress as well. So this is really nice, Yum. nice texture. Leave all these stalks in there because they give it a nice crunch. You know, okay. it's nice peppery. And if you forage it yourself, it's free, so you can put heaps in there. Um, and then I've got some mint as well. So the mint will just give you a nice freshness. So I'm just going to roughly chop that. Yum. That goes through. So courgettes are sort of starting to soften in now. A little bit of luxury uh, in the dish now. A few knobs of butter. I can smell that mint straight away. This is going to be a beautiful mix. I've never had a squid salad before, so I'm looking forward to this. A little, little bit of shallot. shallot. Yeah, so just a little bit of that goes in. Yep. Right, toss the um, courgettes around. Okay, cool. Right. And that's it. That's, so that can come out now. Okay, good. Okay, we've got our peas as well, so just make sure they're drained. I'm going to pop some peas in there. This is looking delicious. So then, obviously, last minute, because your courgettes are warm, your squid's warm, you want to mix it last minute and serve it straight away. Fantastic. Everything's ready, so I've just dressed the salad. If you think it's a little bit, um, you know, it needs a little bit more liquid, a little bit more olive oil, a little pinch of salt, give it a toss round, and then stop building it up on your bowl. So I'm going to put the leaves down first as a base. And then, just, you know, make sure you dig deep, get some peas in there. You want to see all the ingredients as you build it all. I'm going to put some of the courgettes on there. That's just going to help wilt down the uh, watercress as well. And then the squid, place your squid on there. If you want, you can just cut your squid as well onto an angle. And if you just look inside that squid, it's, you know, it's nice and shiny, it's juicy. We know that's going to be really tender. A little bit more on there, and then you guys can try it. Oh my goodness, look at that! I love squid. Brilliant. Lovely. Yeah. Yum, yum. Summer salad. Nice yeah. work.